the way it's looking right now, I think uh, for the month of August, I will be spending most of my stream time playing Persona 5, getting through like uh, as much of it as I can. I don't know if I'll finish it this month. I don't know if I'll have time, if I'll be able to. Like, I probably could if I just spent like 12 hours like every day of my weekend going through it. But like, I have books to write. I have things to do. Like, I have, I have just things to experience, right? Like, I am having mixed feelings on Persona 5. I will come out and say it's better than, like, a lot of the other non-Nintendo games that were coming out in 2017. You know, it's better than Yakuza 0, it's better than Nier Automata, it's better than, like, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, but that's really not saying much because I hated all those games. Persona 5, I think, to me, is a game that kind of excels at things that, like, I personally don't really care for all that much. Like, it's basically a playable anime right? It's a wish fulfillment simulator in which, like, a magic high school boy goes around and, like, bangs every girl in sight. You know, he bangs the teacher, he bangs, like, uh, the model, like, the, the, the half-finished girl, like, he bangs, like, the class president, he, he, bl he, uh, he bangs the super hacker who secretly has a giant penis, right? Like, he is, you know, like, you know, wish fulfillment stuff, right? Everything about, like, Joker is just, just screams, like, generic anime high school uh, bullshit. But, like, the thing is, though, uh, is that weirdly enough, like, I don't like that kind of thing. But, like, Persona is so well produced with, like, such interesting design choices and such, like, you know, good combat. Like, general, generally, like, well-made characters, great presentation, wonderful music that, like... Even though that, like, this is a genre that I typically don't really enjoy all that much because I'm living a perfectly fil uh, fulfilling life in my own right, like, I find that the game is constantly entertaining me, entertaining me with, like, surprising character twists, with surprising, surprisingly reveals, with, like, completely different, like, you know, you know, situations that the characters get into, with, like, you know, original ideas and just, like, you know, cool reveals and just, like... I, I remember like it going like going to see Futaba and like going through that motion of like okay so she's this super hacker she's this recluse but what is her code word and then you get it and then like oh she thinks of this house as her tomb right and like it, it just suddenly all clicks and you're just kind of like oh man that's a that's a really cool thing right that is an interesting moment right that is that like you know moments like that kind of make the game like worth playing in spite of like the technical flaws it has and it does have problems right like i i really hesitate to say like persona 5 is a particularly great game it's a game that has a lot of problems but like when you look at it like uh, like like i feel like the game just kind of works in spite of like all the technical problems it has when it comes to like oh it's a life sim like where you spend a lot of time outside the dungeons, right? Like, wouldn't that get boring somehow? It Somehow it doesn't. You end up, like, really getting, like, it, getting into the groove of, like, coming home every day, like, finding something to do, spending your time with your friends, and, like, you know, getting better weapon, getting getting better weapons, getting better gear, like, you know, making lockpicks, you know? Like, uh, you know, uh, forming social links, like, you know, and then, like, per getting excited for the next major thing. Like, it, it's almost like waiting... For like a new anime season like uh, when, when like you're following a great show it's like it, it's that same exact feeling of just like oh man just living your everyday life and it's like it's surprisingly like comfy like it might be like the comfiest rpg i've ever played in my life like you know harvest moon i kind of get stressed like playing it because like oh man i gotta i gotta do all this i gotta get a girl to marry me i gotta like do this 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 like and like in a lot of ways i, I kind of like tend to have this tendency to just kind of stop playing harvest moon and not, like, master it, because, like, I'm always so stressed about, like, min-maxing everything, which I'm sure is not really necessary. Like, in Persona, like, it has the same kind of vibe to it, where, like, oh, there's a lot of stuff you can miss out on on a first playthrough, but, like, somehow it kind of feels like real life, where there's technically, like, a lot of things you're missing out on, but, like, that doesn't really matter, because you're focusing on the stuff you really care about, right? The stuff that you really enjoy and are really passionate about, and uh, it, it just comes together and, like, just makes it feel like this really organic living world like uh, persona might have i think some of the best character writing i've ever seen purely because like everyone has like these fairly nuanced relationships and personalities and just 
just this really cool like interest and dilemmas they get into and unfortunately it becomes kind of like stagnant after a certain point like it feels like there are a lot of characters that don't really do anything there's no really interesting dynamics in between them they all have this problem where like they all want to suck your dick all at once like you, you check your phone every day and for some reason like oh they're hitting you up all the time oh want to hang out with me oh want to want to like do a medical trial oh want to like go to mementos want to like go to like raid this palace or whatever like yusuke called me and like had me hang out with him while we were in the middle of like this essential operation to like save futaba right like it was like okay bro but like we're legit this is a legit like a life and death situation here bro this, this is like legit serious business and you want to hang out and talk about your art fuck you like i was legit angry considering like the circumstances we were in and like i understand this is um this is just a fucking video game and that you shouldn't take this so seriously but at the same time i'm just like why are these like getting to know you segments it taking place in the middle of like a crisis right like why exactly are we in these situations where like i have to do this 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 like it's so it's so frustrating like i am just so 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 annoyed at these characters sometimes and how they really feel as if they don't have a life outside of being a phantom thief or like sucking the protagonist's dick like it really is that cliche that i just cannot stand about anime is where like the protagonist is just treated like the coolest thing ever right the protagonist just does it just exists and he's like the coolest thing in the world right and, and again this kind of goes to what i was talking about like the the generic anime wish fulfillment like it's not it's not real right it's not like i i really get the i really have this concern like playing persona like thinking about like what fans are like and stuff like that like how many like fans play these games as like a replacement for having real relationships with people having like a real a real life essentially like you know real romances like why how many of them like use persona as a placeholder to like to try and like cope with the fact that they were ne they would they will never ever get someone to love them right like it feels like it's a really common thing it's a stereotype among persona fans i it's one of the first things i noticed about the franchise actually and it's one of those things where i'm just so uncomfortable just thinking about it it really honestly does hinder my experience where i'm just like does something like this need to exist? Like, if, if this is seriously, like, negatively impacting people's lives, you know, much like the YouTuber thing, like, why are we allowing this to happen? Why exactly are we letting people, like, get enveloped in fantasy instead of, like, living out their real lives? And I just, it, it's something I struggle with a lot. Like, it, it's like, I, I'm not judging the game based on its own merits. It's like, it's like how other people perceive it and how they utilize it. Like I play this game and I'm making fun of like the goofy ass, uh, the goofy concept and like characters and just how much I hate Morgana and like actually all the cast other than like Makoto. Like I, I just, they're all so annoying, but like somehow like they come off like actual genuine people and friends. And it's just, it's just so weird. It's just so weird to me. Like it, it's such a, it's such like a, a weird idea, a weirdly idealized, like, version of what people go through in high school right and like it, it's one of those things where i'm just like is this unhealthy is this a bad thing like am i like was i like living a miserable life because i didn't have magic powers and i didn't get to bang ann or whatever while she was wearing the cat suit while morgana was under the bed like listening like no like i i i just feel like uh I feel like, in a way, that I, I feel bad for people who, like, only have Persona in their lives, right? You know, I, I'm playing this game and kind of appreciating what it is, uh, appreciating it for what it is, both good and bad, but I, I know so many people, so many people who are obsessed with this franchise, obsessed with this game, obsessed with its characters, and just have been, like, ob obsessively following it for, like, the past five years, and it's just, like, the game has been, <sighs> you finished the game, presumably, like, in 2017, right? And, like, it, I, I can't imagine just being that fixated on, like, a single property for that length of time. I could understand coming back to it, doing a new game plus, like, falling in love falling in love with it all over again. But, like, spending that much time obsessing over it, it's just, it's just creepy. I, I just have this feeling that these people just live miserable, lonely lives.